Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Lorelai Cooley, Scottsdale, Arizona. Your waiting has not been in vain. Many have been waiting, standing, and then waiting some more. They've been in expectancy for the fulfillment of the promises for such a very long time. It's felt as if the manifestation of these promises, it just seems to continue to tarry along. It's never coming forth. It's almost as if it's fictitious and not the reality that the Lord has spoken to come forth into your life in this season. I felt the Lord saying, the waiting has not been in vain. The hoping, the believing, the standing in the midst of the most intense battles that many have faced in their entire life just to come to this pivotal moment, it's a time of fulfillment. There's a tremendous shift that is breaking through right now. It's residing in the atmosphere. It's heralding great change where the Lord is bringing forth his word. Many are right now on the cusp of the divine timing of the Lord for breakthrough and fulfillment, of seeing multiple miracles of such magnitude that they have not seen yet. His best is coming forth over your life. While writing, I heard this verse loud in my spirit, and as I heard it, I, I felt it bubbling up and the explosiveness of his power contained in it. It was breaking forth within my spirit, the tangibility of his word. It's hovering over many right now to see what he has spoken come to pass. Exodus 34.10 The Lord replied, Listen, I am making a covenant with you in the presence of all your people. I will perform miracles that have never been performed anywhere on the earth or in any nation. All the people around you will see the power of the Lord, the awesome power I will display for you. He is about to display his power in a grander way that has been waiting. The pain, the, the loss, the, the trials, it will far outweigh by the manifestation of his glory in and through your life. I also felt the Lord was saying for those that have waited, feeling as if others have bypassed them and seeing the fulfillment in their lives, but have felt that the Lord is saying to those who have felt forgotten and bypassed and overlooked, the Lord says to those, you are receiving the fullness of the promises because you have waited on me. You did not go ahead of me. You allowed me to take you through the fire and work deep within your heart. What I am about to do for you is to bring to pass my word over your life. It will supersede and surpass all that you have desired and waited for. Don't look at others and think that you've missed it. For what I have for you is for you. Many will look at you and know that I have fulfilled my word over your life. For the waiting, the trusting in me has not been in vain. I will do exceedingly, abundantly, because you have kept me first within your heart. I am making up for the years. A restoration on the grandest level, you can rest assured and know that I am right on time and never late. You will be overjoyed with tears, and deep healing will come to your heart as I suddenly bring to pass what I have spoken and promised over your life. The cloud of his glory is moving upon and over your life to bring manifestation, demonstration of all his power, his fulfillment, that his word is true. Let's just pray into that right now. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Your word is true. Lord, your promises never fail. Lord, your word never goes forth without accomplishing its purpose. I thank you, Father, that you have the ability to perform miracles beyond what anyone has ever seen. But Lord, we trust you. We trust you in the waiting. Lord, when we feel as if the waiting has been in vain, God, correct us. Give us that paradigm shift. Give us that hope. We look to you, Father, for hope. We don't look to the nightly news. We don't look to uh, sister so-and-so. We don't look to what our mom and dad says, God, but we look to you, Father. And we know that your plans, your purposes will prevail on a large scale and in our individual lives. And that's what I pray this morning. Lord, may the waiting that my friend is going through not be seen as vain, as idleness, but of growing closer to you, of stepping further into covenant with you day by day, incrementally closer to you and more like Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.